Now the evidence is very strong that if we're mouth breathers, it has deleterious effects on our on our overall general well-being. Uh, and there are many many causes, but I'll just um, talk about a couple. Uh, one of the uh, important ones is the uh, inability to take in enough nitric oxide. Mm -hmm. So the physicians that got the Nobel Prize for discovering that about 10, 12 years ago found, uh, discovered this very transient molecule that is um, uh, produced in, in the vessels, but importantly, as I'm speaking here about the sinuses, in the sinus membrane. And what that does is it has an antimicrobial effect um, and um, it, it helps improve circulation, improves the absorption of oxygen. So if you don't have it and you're a mouth breather, then the, you're, you're having to breathe uh, less efficiently mm -hmm. and there's less O2 available in the blood vessels. And uh, as a result of that, it can have an effect on, on blood pressure, increasing blood pressure. The other thing is, is that um, when you're mouth breathing, you're blown off um, more CO2, carbon dioxide, than is uh, uh, physiologically optimal. And the absorption of oxygen is a function of the amount of, you have to have a certain amount of CO2. It's called the Bohr effect. And if you're over breathing, through your mouth because you're not absorbing the oxygen efficiently uh, through your nose uh, due to lack of nitric oxide. As an example, I'm simplifying a complicated physiologic process, but the uh, enough information is there to understand that it affects the alkalinity of the blood. And if your blood is, oh, CO2 allows the pH of the blood to, to drop to where it doesn't become too alkaline. If you're mouth breathing, it becomes more alkaline. So that means that your uh, the bl ro red blood cells are not able to uh, release the oxygen to the other organs, and um, there are a number of, of what we call sequelae or consequences that affects other organ systems. And it all starts with our airway. Mm 